Pirouette. Being a popular YouTuber can be surprisingly difficult for some people. From having to deal with a constantly evolving audience, mass amounts of money and fame, and having to suppress the constant urge to bite people. Is it too soon to make jokes about that? But all of that doesn't even compare to the pressure of being a YouTube kids creator. Imagine everything I just mentioned, but times 20. And the fans are the ones doing the biting. So because of that, I ended up taking a deep dive into YouTube kids and came out with probably one of the worst YouTube channels I've ever seen. Brain rot content, millions of subscribers, toys, money, controversy, and the clear loss of creativity, friendship, and fun. This channel checks all the typical YouTuber boxes. What channel am I even talking about, though? Well, <laughs> hold your horses, buddy. We're getting there. Around a month ago, I was looking at my Discord server, probably procrastinating script writing in all honesty, when somebody sent this message. New Sushine video sneak peek. Oh my god! Oh. That's right! We I can't see! Oh my god! Oh. Oh. Well, that was a bit much. After seeing that, I knew I had to look into these guys. But where would I even begin? Gagagadi, whatever Roblox guys? Annoying YouTube kids channels? The search could be endless and potentially span the entire internet. I might just have to dedicate months of my life to researching these guys and finding out who they are. I found them. Um, they're, uh, they're called Lanky Box. It took me like five minutes. So do you want me to talk about them? Lanky Box has been around since 2017, featuring two friends, Adam MacArthur and Justin Chroma, the latter of which being more colorful than the other. <laughs> In the bathroom. These two have been consistently making content together since then and shifted to kid-friendly content around 2020. Well, um, that's if you consider this to be kid-friendly. To get a better idea of their content, let's go ahead and find the video that started this whole thing. L let me just... Ah, there we go. I found it. Ow. The most notable thing about this video, besides the god-awful overexposed face cam, is that we get a clear glimpse at the copy-paste formula for all of Lanky Box's videos. Someone usually yells something to grab your attention. Help! What are you doing, man? The point of the video involves a game, trend, or short-lived meme, bright colors everywhere, the YouTuber intro voice, if you have this fake Roblox app, you need to delete it right now, and an entire library of sound effects. The best Lanky Box Fortnite videos of all time. But before we get into that, we are actually going to play Fortnite in real life. It's essentially the video equivalent to a Fisher Price baby mobile. You'd think after the intro, the video would slow down, but no. Just like a Guantanamo Bay torture method, high amounts of energy are forced into you the entire video. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! With the tail. Which then brings me to the length of their videos. They upload twice a day every day. One video being 15 to 40 minutes long, and the other can be one to eight hours long. Why would you do that to yourself? The worst part about all of this is that everything about their content is so fake. The laughter, the fun, the enjoyment, it's all just fabricated and genuinely just feels wrong. <laughs> <laughs> he emailed a developer that had gone rogue. <laughs> Oh my goodness! It's a skeleton! I understand that this content is supposed to be for kids, and I'm notably... Not a kid, mostly. But the fact of the matter is that this content is clearly manufactured. Nothing they do is authentic, and everything's played up for the cameras for hours each day. And on top of that, they have a second channel that also uploads twice a day with the same length of content. That's four videos a day, every single day without a day off. Hell, I upload once a month and sometimes that gets a little difficult. Sure, I'm, I might be a lazy f but four times a day is a whole new level of insane. I understand getting money and having to pay bills and employees, but damn, 
Damn! This doesn't seem healthy at all. In fact, this doesn't seem healthy for anyone involved, especially their target audience. The more you attempt to watch their content, the more you realize this just isn't good for kids, like at all. There's no value to the content and nothing is being learned or taught. Like most content on YouTube kids, it's just pure exploitative attention grabbing garbage. Imagine the effect Lanky Box has on their audience. Shows like Bluey and Coco Melon are what YouTube kids content should be. Things are taught, learned, and it's not loud and obnoxious, unlike Lanky Box. Because today we are going to time travel and see the full Roblox piggy story. Lanky Box is clearly just chasing the bag at whatever cost. Why else do you think some of their videos are longer than feature oh. films? Don't even get me started on Lanky Box's merch either. They're constantly promoting their creatively named plushies and toys. Foxy the Fox, Boxy the Box, Rocky the Rock. A uh, thick shark? What the fuck even is a thick shark? Actually, why don't I just go see for myself? The Lanky Box Empire is so massive, you can actually find their toys in targets across America. So, uh, let's go. Uh oh, I, I can't take this with me. That target. It is hot. It is so hot. Roblox stuff. No way. Oh my god. There they are. There's their face in the thumbnail. There's more. Oh, let me put this let me put this back the right way. There's a big box. They're like sold out to Lanky Box. Lanky Box. Smashers? Well, what is that? That's weird to see. That is crazy. Is that thick shark? And why is this $60? What is this? A really big box. Yeah, no shit. Well, I found him. So, now what? And with that, my quest to go outside was completed. All that remained was one final burning question. Oh, I have a burning question. How did Lanky Box get so popular? They have 40 million subscribers with views that don't really reflect that. Where did all those viewers come from? Oh, well, they actually abused the hell out of YouTube Shorts. Wait, really? Yeah, like 2.3 billion views in a oh, month. Oh my god, okay, well, oh, how did they even get their start then? Now that's an excellent question. Thank you, uh, you're welcome. No, but like actually for real, how did Lanky Box get started? Well, when I was watching their videos, I kept seeing comments of people saying they missed the old Lanky Box, or that old Lanky Box was better, and people asking if they ex explored each other's bodies. What, what the hell? How'd that get in there? Well, weird comment aside, uh, was the old Lanky Box really better? That question obviously only furthered my curiosity and led me to make a discovery that changed the trajectory of this video. Originally, my plan was to poke fun at some explorative YouTubers, make some half decent jokes, and leave with the message of exploiting people for money is bad, don't do that. But after watching their old content, it completely shifted my perspective on these guys and changed how I wrote this video. Now, I totally think you should exploit people for money. <laughs> Get that bag at any cost. No, no, but seriously, their old content is like watching two completely different people. I mean, notice how I said watching and not attempted to watch because I was actually able to watch a lot of their old videos all the way through and actually laugh with them, like real laughter, not whatever this is. Let me just show you what I mean. Hi, my name is Justin, and I'm here to do some fidget spinner tricks for you today. Best of luck. This one's for you, Mom. When I think back to my childhood, I just remember my parents spinning me around, and I think growing up, I wasn't really good at that many things, so I'm hoping with this act, I can just, I can just really make my parents proud. <laughs> a lot of people, actually, I shouldn't say a lot of people, mostly just Adam, says I look a little something like Rat Monster. Okay, uh, does he not? I mean, that... Look! <laughs> there's life! There's soul in their eyes! There's real laughter! It's not fake! After watching like two modern Lanky Box videos, this is unbelievably refreshing. I I feel sane again. What's crazy is these first videos did very well. So much so that by their 10th public YouTube video, they mentioned already being at 700,000. 
1,000 Instagram followers. Follow us on our Instagram. We're about to hit 700K followers. Okay, we're taking off the lanky ship. And within less than a year from starting, they already had 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. That's genuinely insane. And they did all this while making content that they and their audience clearly enjoyed. They initially grew by making a lot of K-pop related content, mainly zero budget remakes of popular music videos, which in all honesty is actually pretty creative. I don't know if they were the first to popularize zero budget remakes, but they clearly had fun with it and people loved it. So much so that it became what they were known for. People actually called them the zero budget guys. We're about to meet two young men who prove it doesn't take a huge budget to make your videos go viral on YouTube. Lanky Box is made up of uh, Justin Chroma and Adam MacArthur who call themselves the zero budget guys and their K-pop music video recreations have gotten them almost a million followers on Instagram. Still, to this day, their most popular videos are their zero budget remakes of movies and music videos. Granted, all they made for their first year on YouTube was zero budget remakes. You know, maybe these guys have been exploiting people since the start. When they finally started to transition to other types of content, they actually had a lot of potential to be great creators. In fact, one of my favorite videos from them is this a cheap versus expensive ASMR video. Now, hold on, before you start calling me a weirdo, I hate ASMR, okay? Th this video isn't just dudes whispering into a microphone for 10 minutes. Okay, so just make sure, like, when we're talking, like, just don't talk loud. <laughs> hold on, th there's more to it, okay? I promise. The whole video is a prime example of what Linky Box could have been. The video is just Adam and Justin having fun, being themselves, all the while making fun of ASMR content on YouTube. I mean, Justin literally makes a joke about ASMR channels faking crunches. We need to get some crunch on this cactus you bought. How? You, you have any ideas? Masking tape. <laughs> Crunchy. Watching their old videos was genuinely refreshing. Not only was it a nice flashback to 2017, but I was actually able to watch the video without getting an instant headache. Plus, the video made me laugh, like, a lot. <laughs> you can just tell they're having fun. Yeah, you know, I'm just at the airport, you know, waiting for my flight. Oh man, look at that plane take off, man. <laughs> time I told you to work on the music to make it better, uh, so you... Hey, got it covered, hey! This little kitty can play music. Justin, you told me I'm gonna get a professional <laughs> piano player. About a year after these early videos, they ended up introducing a bunch of new series that actually did really well. One example is their Guess the Price series, where they... Yeah, you guessed it. They guessed the price of objects. I'm gonna go with $10. $10, okay. That's a safe guess. Let's say three. This is a $3 Oreo? It's not good. That kind of content continued until around 2020, when the entire world fell apart and Likeybox ended up pivoting to Roblox gaming content. Eventually, they phased out all the semi-good content they were known for, slowly killing their creativity and falling down the YouTube rabbit hole of chasing money, fame, and bigger numbers. And all that's left now is mindless slop. And a Roblox game. Don't forget that. They do have a Roblox game. I want to make something clear. I feel bad for these guys only because of how they lost themselves, the potential they had, and the clear lack of care and love compared to the stuff they're making pre-2019. Everything they've done since then is absolutely abhorrent. That means bad, by the way. <laughs> Listen, all jokes aside, this is a mixed bag of feelings. On one hand, I don't like these guys or what they do at all. Not only did they break YouTube terms of service by live streaming reruns of their own videos, but they got called out for it and did nothing about it. Yeah, they actually did that. I, I, I didn't make that up. They also create content purely for profit that exploits kids' attention spans and has no value whatsoever, all the while promoting toys and plushies of one-off characters and themselves. They also abuse the hell out of YouTube shorts to create a massive empire of subscribers that don't watch anything. I mean, I can't blame those subscribers. I can barely stand five seconds of this. On the other hand, however, these guys clearly were at one point having fun making content. Again, just look at the difference between modern and old Lanky Box. They were having fun. You can see it. You don't see fun anymore. Not only have they done terrible, manipulative things in the pursuit of profit, but they clearly lost themselves at some point in the past seven years. Which is now that surprising when you remember they're making four videos a day, and that's not counting shorts. I can only imagine what Lanky Box could have been if they never lost themselves, their morals, if they even had any, and the effect their content could have had. They could have ended up making some incredible content on YouTube, but we'll never know.
Listen, if Lanky Box somehow sees this video, just know that this isn't a hit piece against you guys. I'm just saying what I personally think should and needs to be said. You guys need to take a break and realize the effect your content has had on your audience. Stop making content for a little bit and find what you guys truly enjoy doing because this is not good. Unless you actively enjoy ruining the minds of your audience. In that case, uh, pop off, I guess. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know. And for everyone else, just remember, in this day and age, it's easier than ever before to lose yourself when all we see are people doing whatever it takes for money, fame, and attention. Just be a decent person. Like, that. that's about it. If you enjoyed this video, you probably really enjoyed this one, too. Was that inspirational? I feel like, I feel like this video was inspirational. I, I mean, hey, <laughs> I totally just touched some lives today. Ooh, no, that, that, that sounds bad coming from a YouTuber. Um, should I cut that?